rectangle is twice as long as it is wide. Squares of side two feet are cut out from each corner. Then the sides are folded up to make an open box. Express the volume of the box as a function of the width. Okay, very cool. So, uh, before we get into right, the mathematics of it, let's just visualize what's going on. So you got a rectangular little box thing here, okay? Now this is a two-dimensional, I guess, box. You, well, box is, is box three dimensions? I don't really know. You got, a, you got a rectangle on the page, okay? I guess maybe it's not a box. You got a rectangle on the page, two dimensions. Somehow you got to turn this two-dimensional object into a three-dimensional object. How do you do it? Well, you do it by starting to cut out some of the corners, okay? And you cut little squares out in the corners. So watch, take a look. So now pretend that these are the boxes that will be cut out. In other words, you're going to take a scissor, cut it here, and then cut it there, okay, in each of the corners. Now it told you that the squares that you're going to cut out there on each side, they're going to be two feet, right? So let's just put that in the diagram. Now you can put the units if you want. I'm going to leave out the units just to keep just to keep it very easy at the moment. Okay, so two, 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 two. I don't want to brag, but two, two. I don't want to toot my own horn, but two, two. Right. Now, rectangle. It says it's twice as long as it is wide. So what does that exactly mean? Well, it means that whatever the length of this length is, okay, however, whatever the distance is here of that length, will be twice whatever this distance is, okay? Now, they told us that they want us to call the width x. So generally speaking, this is the length of the box, and uh, that part will be the width, okay? Now, remember that the box, okay, the whole box, this whole side before you cut anything out was X. That was the width. We don't know what it is. It's something, okay? And the entire then length of the box was going to be twice that width, so therefore that has to be 2X, okay? Now, it might start getting confusing with the 2s here and the 2s here, but the reason why this is 2X is because it says that the uh, length is twice as long as the width, okay, basically, and these twos are just because they told us that they're going to be cutting out squares of two feet, right, from each side. All right. Now, imagine how you would create a box now. You would basically have to fold up, okay, the sides here at each one of these creases. What happened? There it goes. Right, you'd have to fold up the box at each one of those creases. And if you were to fold this side up, you know, you folded this side up, you folded this side on up, and same thing here, you folded that side on up, what you'd have is you would have an open box, all right? And the open box would look somewhat like this. Let's just see if we can kind of do this a little bit, right? Here, here, something like this. It's not going to be a perfect box, but what are you going to do? All right, so we have a box like that. Now, remember, it's open, okay? In other words, this, this is the side of the box. This is another side of the box. And the top here is open. Now, if you think about it, right, and you can kind of, and now the, this has to be rectangular, right, in shape. Now, if you begin to think about it a little bit, you know, the length of, let's say, this side. Now, it's this is not to scale, by the way, the box I drew. Right, but basically, down here would represent the location of where you were folding it, right? If you had to think about it, okay. In other words, this right here, let's just say, this length. This dashed area, dashed line, I shouldn't really say area, but that dashed line represents that dashed line. Now, what's the length of the dashed line here? Well, if it's 2x overall, but you cut out 2 here and you cut out 2 here, how would you write a mathematical expression now to represent this dashed length? Well, you'd say, oh, that's just 2x minus 4, right? I agree. And now, just to differentiate the colors a little bit, here now, this dashed length would be similar to this dashed length, okay? And what's that length? Well, the overall length of the, of the rectangle you had at the beginning was x, and then we're going to subtract now 4 from it, right? Because 2 and 2 on each side. That would be correct. Let me move this over just a touch, okay? Now, what's the height of the box? You have to imagine. Imagine you're folding this up. How, much, how high will you be folding it? Well, whatever the length of this is. And what's the length of this? Well, it's 2, right? So that's a 2. And now you have the dimensions of your box, right? If you're having trouble visualizing this, literally take out a piece of paper, 
right? A piece of paper, regular paper is like eight and a half by 11. It's a rectangle, right? Start cutting out square boxes on the corners and then fold it up. And it'll begin to make a little more conceptual sense. Now all we have to do is create a formula for the volume. It wants that, it says express the volume. So the volume is always length times width times height. So what's the length? Call it 2x minus 4. What's the width? Call it x minus 4. And then times 2. And that's now the formula. Okay? You can, fa you can you know, foil this if you want. You can create the quad you know, quadratic out of it. You can do whatever you want. All right? At this point. But this is basically the formula. So now, if you know what x is, right, what the width is, you can figure out the volume. And that's all there is to it. So it's really not that bad, right? It's really not that bad. And I bet if you were to do this out, actually, get a piece of paper, start tearing up the corners. Okay, you don't even need a scissor. Just start tearing. Make it as neat as possible. And I promise you, it'll be like, oh, right, I get it. Okay, the most important part in, in terms of problem solving, one of the most important parts, uh, well, could it be one of the most important? Because what does that actually mean? Isn't the most important only one? So you can't really say one of the most important. It would be one of the important then, right? Exactly. This is what goes on in my mind all the time, right? I mean, it's a constant, it's a constant battle. It's a constant battle. Anyway, one of the important features of problem solving is being able to visualize the problems. All right. A lot of times what happens is you read the words and your mind is just blank. You have to draw pictures, right? Aren't pictures easy to understand? It's easy to understand things that you can see. And that's kind of what I like to focus on. I like to think about things pictorially, right? Visually. I think it makes it make a lot more sense. You also have to be skilled then algebraically, right? Mathematically. But you want to kind of see how the two connect. And if you do have that fundamental understanding, I promise you, math won't be difficult. It'll actually become... I, I don't want to say it, but maybe interesting. It might become interesting, right? Especially if you become good at it. And the only way to become good at it is to practice a lot, right? I like to say nobody likes to play the piano who doesn't know how to play the piano, right? Imagine you got a piano and you go sit down on it and you start hitting some keys. It's going to sound like, you know what? It's not going to sound good. It's not going to be kind of fun to play. But you have to have the dedication in the beginning to practice, Right? To get through that hard time. And then once you become better and you practice, now you can start to compose some songs, right? You can compose pieces, right? You can play whatever you want to play. And that's really when you begin to take up an interest in something, I think. All right? So stay determined, stay focused, keep going, and practice a lot. And that's what we got. We got a, literally a channel dedicated to thousands of practice problems. Right? Check us out, not only in math, but physics and chemistry as well. We've got a lot more coming. All right? Be well.